Hey everyone, Rowan here. Just a really quick video on how to create a read-only IAM user. In order to get up and running with the visualizations as fast as possible, the easiest and most secure way is to create a read-only IAM user that has limited specific access to your data and something that you can clean up afterwards easily so you can be confident that there isn't any loose ends. I'm in the AWS console under IAM users and here I'm going to create a user. I'm going to call my user read-only and I'm going to say that they have programmatic access only to the AWS APIs. Next, I'll attach a policy directly to the user. Usually you'd attach your policies to groups and then put those users in groups, but because we just want to get up and running quickly, we're going to attach them directly to this user. We're also going to take advantage of the EC2 read-only policy. Depending on the visualization, the exact permissions you add may be slightly different to this. Here you get to do a quick review of your user, the username, the type of access it has, and then the permissions that you've granted it. Once the user has been created, you'll get a chance to download your access key and your secret access key. Note that this is the only time that you'll be able to get the secret access key. If you don't get it now, you'll have to go through this process to create a new key. You can also download it as a CSV so that you can save it locally. You can now put this access key and secret access key into the visualization to see your data. Once you've finished using the tool, I recommend you delete the user as soon as possible. And that's it. No loose ends.